This is groundbreaking. The facilities have been second to none. I have seen things here that I didn't think were achievable at this stage. I thought that this technology would still be another two years away, but we've seen interoperability that was just unexpected. I personally have never done anything like this before, where we have different nations, different services, a joint and industry technology conglomeration. This is completely new. In October 2016, over 40 organizations came together with Joint Warrior, the largest military training exercise in Europe, to explore and understand the potential of unmanned systems. Experimentation is a key part of learning how you might use new technology. We're supporting the Ministry of Defence in a traditional test and evaluation role through the long-term partnering room, getting the ranges set up, ensuring that the safety elements are properly attended to, that all of the infrastructure, all of the enabling functions are in place. Participants were tasked to help operational commanders understand their environment, locate threats and counter potential risks demonstrating credible capability options. Over 100 missions were delivered, with more than 50 systems taking part from six nations. The majority of systems outputting directly into ASA, an integrated command and control system operating both ashore and afloat. Unmanned Warrior saw several world firsts, including four nations fielding 10 autonomous vehicles to deliver effective mine countermeasures and an over-the-horizon link to the command. Unmanned Warrior is a fantastic piece of innovation that's been organised to test unmanned vehicles and how they can contribute to capability. Innovation has always been something that has helped our armed forces stay at the cutting edge and so it's really important that we invest and investigate all these new technologies. An exercise like this is going to be so valuable in informing the kind of decisions that the Royal Navy and the rest of the armed forces are going to have to make in the years to come.